Alright guys, and welcome to part 2 of my prediction game video for Evolution vs. The Shield, a match that is going to take place this Sunday at Payback. It is going to be a 6-man tag team, no holds barred elimination match. So to win the match, one team has to eliminate every single member of the opposing team via either pinfall or submission. This is a rematch, of course from Extreme Rules, where the Shield won the match, which I, I actually expected Evolution to win the first match, but Shield won, so that was kind of unexpected, and that just makes things even more difficult to predict. But hey, that's a good thing. You know, when things are unpredictable, it tends to make things even more entertaining because you don't know what's going to happen. It's not obvious. You're, you're not sure is this team going to win or is this team other team going to win. So the outcome, is, or I mean, you're always intrigued by the ending of the match and you don't know when, you know, that, that other team can win the match. So regardless of this match being a really hard one to predict, you know, I've got to pick somebody. And after a lot of thought, this, I, I spent a lot of, you know, a lot of time thinking, who wins this match? And, you know, I picked the shield, and I'm going to tell you guys why I picked the shield, but also, I, c I can also see some reasons why Evolution would win. This is, like, as close as it gets, in my opinion, as far as, you know, 50-50 chance. Like, each team is can equally win this match. Now... If the Shield would have won the first bout, if they would have won the match at Extreme Rules, this would be a to totally different story. Uh, I would have automatically pretty much went with the Shield. Because after this, Batista, there's a lot of talk about Batista. Supposedly, he, uh, after Payback, and after Payback, I think he's going to show up on Raw the next night, and then... He's going to appear on NXT, I think, the week afterwards. And after that, he's supposed to be taking time off where, you know, to promote his movie. So with Batista taking this time off, pretty much Evolution is without Batista. You know, it's just Triple H and Randy. So this is pretty much the last match between The Shield and Evolution, or the original Evolution, at least for a while. And in a feud like this, I feel like the face team in the end would prevail. So that's why, you know, in my initial prediction for Extreme Rules, I was like, all right, so Evolution wins the first match. And then it, afterwards, Evolution finally gets, you know, their payback at the payback pay per view. And they beat the authority, they beat Triple H, or they beat Evolution, you know. But now also with Batista, see, it's not only the Shield not winning the first match that complicates things as far as picking a winner but also the fact that Batista won't be on TV for a while after payback or you know a, a week after payback or so so it's like what happens then at payback how does Batista get written off TV um, does he does the shield take him out if so do they take Batista out at payback or do they take him out on Raw, or maybe the Shield doesn't take out Batista, maybe Batista gets kicked out of Evolution, because maybe he takes the pinfall, you know, gets pinned first or something like that, uh, in the match, so Triple H gets mad or something like that and takes him out of Evolution, and then Batista leaves for a while, so as you can see, there's all these different scenarios, and it just... There's all these different possibilities, so you don't know, <laughs> you know, how the match could go, what, what's going to happen. Now, the reason why I picked the Shield here is, you know, one of the reasons is because I think, like I said, this is going to be the last match between the Shield and Evolution for a while. Uh, or maybe ever, I don't know. Or, you know, at least against the original Evolution, like I said, Batista, Randy, and Triple H. So with this possibly being the last match between the two teams, I would think it, it only makes sense to have the Shield win it. You know, for, for the good guys to prevail in the end, just like Daniel Bryan prevailed in the end against the Authority uh, at WrestleMania. But then again, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's also rumors about Evolution getting a new member to replace Batista while Batista is away. 
So if that happens, then we could possibly see the shield versus evolution continue, but with a new member, with somebody else instead of Batista. So, so that evolution could win, to so the feud can continue, so that way, you know, both teams have a victory, both teams have kind of have a reason uh, for a rematch, for a tiebreaker. But, you know, if the Shield wins both matches, uh, there's not that big, that big of a re reason for a rematch. But, if the Shield takes on the new Evolution, is it really the same thing? Is it really the same feud? I guess it is the same feud, but it's just not the same thing. I mean, well, it's not, at least it's not the same people. Um, like, you know, the sh it would be instead the Shield versus... Triple H, Randy, and let's say Sheamus, because, you know, he's been rumored to maybe be a replacement when Batista's away. So, you know, there's, there's so many different things here that are making this a lot harder to predict uh, than it would be if, you know, Batista wasn't taking time off afterwards, or if Evolution, or if Evolution would have won the first match, also, speaking of the first match, uh, for those of you who watched my Extreme Rules prediction game videos, I thought, you know, one scenario I, could, I, was, I was thinking was going to take place at Extreme Rules was Ric Flair interfering in the match uh, and interfering to help out Evolution. Because, you know, before Extreme Rules on Raw, you had Ric Flair up here and he praised the shield. And then I thought, you know, this, I'm thinking this leads to Ric Flair at Extreme Rules interfering, and then the Shield is thinking, oh, he's here to help us out or something like that, and then he low blows one of the members or something like that, you know, helps out Evolution, Evolution wins, Ric Flair's back with Evolution. And then I said, I would then think, you know, Hulk Hogan joins the Shield to even out the odds to neutralize Ric Flair, so it's the Shield and Hulk Hogan versus Ric Flair and Evolution, or actually not Ric Flair and Evolution, just Evolution since Ric Flair was a part uh, of Evolution originally. And that entire thing didn't happen, so that's another thing that just makes things even more difficult to, to figure out when it comes to this match. Now, going back to the two teams in this match, the winners, um, you know, I would love to see Evolution win this match. But, at the same time, I could see this being a situation where... Evolution just can't beat the Shield, just like when Christian couldn't and still can't beat Randy. Why can't Christian beat Randy? I don't know, but <laughs> you know, Randy and Christian feuded for a while, but Christian could never beat Randy. So this could be one of those situations where you know they have this feud, but Evolution just can't seem to you know beat the Shield uh, in a ma in a match. You know, they can beat they can beat them when it comes to like a beat down after a match or something like that. Just like Christian uh, would get, you know, sometimes the upper hand over Randy in a SmackDown or Raw, but when it came to a match, Randy always beat him, except for like a DQ a DQ win against Randy. But, but yeah, like I said, I would really like to see Evolution win this. Um, I'd like to see this feud continue. Preferably I would have liked to see it continue with Batista, you know, Triple H, Randy and Batista versus Evolution, like, for a third time uh, to determine who really is the better team. But now, also, a reason why, a big reason why I'm going with the Shield here is this past Monday on Raw, where Triple H really emphasized that this Sunday is going to be the last time we see the Shield because of how bad, pretty much, Evolution is going to beat them. So... If Evolution just beats the Shield, and then we see the Shield back on Raw, that just, to me, it doesn't seem right. Like, it's, um, uh, like, all that talk was for nothing, you know, Triple H saying that they're gonna destroy the Shield, this is the last time we see the Shield, it's, it, it's a shame and all that, but we just see, see them the next night, and then all of a sudden, you know, Batista leaves, like, a week afterwards, it, uh... It doesn't make too much sense to me. And that is pretty much the biggest reason why I'm picking the Shield as who I think is going to win this match.
So, anyways, that is pretty much it for my detailed prediction for this match. Regardless of which team wins, I think we're going to get an awesome match. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you can click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, I'm out. See you guys.